Hey, welcome to Lapland Safaris. My name is Sami. I will be your guide today. Next, I will give you the instructions on how to drive a snowmobile. And for the duration of the instructions, I will need your full attention. First, a few things about the Finnish law. You have to be 18 years old. You have to have a valid driving license here in Europe. For your own safety and the safety of others, driving the snowmobile under the influence of alcohol or drugs of any kind is prohibited by the Finnish law. All of our snowmobiles are insured as required in the Finnish Traffic Insurance Act. In case of an accident, it covers the medical care for the driver, the passenger and the possible third party. The insurance, however, does not cover the material damage to the snowmobile. As stated in the commitment form that you read and sign at the office, driver is liable for the damages. The maximum self-liability is 980 euros per accident per snowmobile. This can be uh, reduced down to 150 euro by purchasing the self-liability waiver. Then how to behave during the safari and how we drive during the safari. We always drive in one line and one line only. It means no slalom, no side-by-side -side driving, no overtaking, no slowing down and accelerating, no fooling around in general. That's again for your own safety and the safety of others on the track. Keep at least 20 meter safety distance from your snowmobile to the one in front of you. That gives you enough time to react if something happens. If we have to cross a road during the safari, stop before the road and wait that I will give you the permission to go across. Anyone seated in the sledge needs to exit the sledge and cross the road by foot. And when you have crossed, you may then take a seat on the sledge again. Then, last but not the least, is communication. During the safari, you cannot hear anything else except for the engine. So I use hand signals to communicate. It is very important that in every snowmobile, at least one person is repeating the signal. So even the last one on the line knows what is going to happen. You always repeat the signals with your left hand. First signal is holding up like this, means prepare to stop. We will stop soon. It might take 20 meters, 50 meters, but soon we will stop. Next is waving hand on the side, like this. This means slow down, drive carefully, pay attention. Might be a big bump on the track, tight corner, incoming traffic, reindeers on the way, slow your speed and pay attention around you. Third signal is up and down like this. This means let's go, we are about to start. Last signal is only used by the guides. Hands crossed in the front means stop immediately, do not follow. There might be a problem in the back, might be a road crossing, I might have to go and search for a track. Stay where you are and when I give you the permission then you can move again. Then we will go into the driving controls and the driving position. As the driver you sit here in the front, you find yourself a nice comfortable position, not too close, not too far. Take a firm grip from the handlebar, but stay relaxed and flexible. The roads we take can be sometimes bumpy. When you are relaxed and adapt to the movement, driving will be very easy. If you are very nervous and tense, your arms will go tired very quickly. Always keep your feet inside the foot rail. Never hanging outside never touching the ground when we move. Even in the case that you start to tip over, do not try to stop it with your leg, because these weigh over 300 kilos and it's quite uncomfortable on top of your ankle. Then for the driving controls, with your right hand thumb, you control the gas. 
when you press the accelerator, the snowmobile will start to move forward. And when you release, it will slow down and eventually stop. Brake is on your left hand. Using the brake will cause the snowmobile to stop very quickly. It is very important that you never use the gas and the brake at the same time because it might cause damage to the engine. First, release the gas and then use the brake if it's needed. The red button over here is the emergency switch. When you push it down, it will shut down the engine. Another safety feature is the emergency cord. In the beginning, I will attach this to the driver's overall. In case you fall off the machine, the key will disconnect and it will shut down the engine to prevent any further damage. The emergency cord needs to be attached to the driver whenever the snowmobile is moved. The engine is automatic, no need to switch any gear when we drive. Steering is very simple, it's like a bike. When you turn it right, snowmobile goes to the right. When you turn it left, the snowmobile goes to the left. You also need to assist on the turns by using your own body weight. So if you want to go right, you take a step to the right. Want to go to the left, take a step to the left. Always on the inner corner. It helps a lot, especially on the tight corners. Do not try to start the snowmobiles by yourself. Us guides always do it for you. Then as the passenger, you sit here on the back seat, take a grip from the handlebar, keep your feet inside the foot rail, use your body weight on the turns, just like the driver, and then just enjoy the beautiful view and the drive. That's all you need to do. Any questions? No? Good students? Then we can head to the snowmobiles.